Hey folks, Dino here again. This time, taking a look at the Tamashi Nation's November reviews. Um, they did so at their digital event, and I'll be honest, I completely forgot it was happening. <laughs> um, so yeah, luckily I noticed it on their social media. So yeah, before we get started, I will say at least half of these reviews are a direct response to Demoniacal Fit. Like, you'll see it once you see it. <laughs> um, it. It's obvious that the competition is actually quite healthy between the two, even though one's official and one's not, but let's not get into that. <laughs> so, first things first, we have kind of a fun one. <laughs> they actually made a new face plate, a plate and hands for Goku eating. Um, I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's Dragon Ball Z Kakarot related. Or if it's just them poking fun at the fact that Goku constantly eats. <laughs> but that, that's quite funny. I, I do like that. Japan seems to have this sort of quirk with making miniature versions of real world stuff. Like food and tables and chairs and all that sort of stuff. Kind of like doll's houses, but that's probably a gross exaggeration of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, they they love their miniatures and making their figures look as if they're doing the same things we'd do. So yeah, quite funny. I did like that. The face is actually spot on. I, I kind of hope they bring this set out, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, uh, moving on. Just some reveals that came out before. I've not really spoke about them, but just in case anyone's been living under a rock, Bardock's coming. <laughs> in fact, he's coming quite soon. I think it's March he's due out. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. It's actually a new head sculpt. Which is surprising, seeing as how they've reused the Goku head like multiple times at this point. But I suppose they probably needed to to get the bandana in. So, yeah. One thing I am disappointed about, and Demon Eichel Fit will probably have this covered. Don't worry about it. He doesn't come with a Super Saiyan head. And before people start saying, oh, that's not canon, this entire version of Bardock isn't canon anymore, remember? <laughs> hey the Broly movie sort of did away with this version, but this is the more badass one, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, next one is Raditz, who they've got posed quite strangely. Like, <laughs> um, don't know why his shoulder plates are in such a weird position. No idea, but Raditz does look good. Don't know if I'll pick him up. Well, the, the next release that I'm going to show you kind of makes it so that I have to to get all three of them. Hint, hint. But yeah, Raditz does look good. Hopefully his hair doesn't weigh him down. <laughs> um, but yeah, quite well done. No reuse as far as I can tell. Next one is Frieza. So this one on the left here is what they showed with obviously the pod and things like that. Um, this is one they showed earlier on, just to show you that it is articulated and stuff. He's not just stuck in the pod. So yeah, I think he's due out in April, which is very nice. I, I do like this. But thinking more about it, the Ginyu Force and Frieza all have this sort of exaggerated look on their armour, whereas the Raditz still has the old school. I don't know why, but it does look good nonetheless. Maybe I just didn't notice in the show and they did change how it looked. Uh, never mind. But yeah, Frieza does look incredibly good. And Next one, they actually showed off Nappa in his proper colour scheme. I always thought this would be an event exclusive. But no, they're calling it Nappa Saiyan Invasion. So I don't know if this is going to be like the old premium colour 
figures, like Vegeta and Trunks, um, that are just released normally with a different colour scheme, slightly different accessories and things like that. But yeah, um, I never got the original Nappa, purely because it wasn't the right colours, <laughs> so I never bothered with it. Um, but yeah, with this one, I'm kind of more inclined to buy him now. Um, hopefully he's not an event exclusive to Mashi. Um, although this one did make more sense than Ultra Instinct Goku. We'll not get into that. <laughs> but yeah, um, loving the new colour scheme. Amazing what proper colours do, eh, Tamashi? Next up, we have the Ginyu Force. They have been showed off before. Um, but I've never covered them. And you see what I mean about the exaggerated shoulders? Like they're dead poofy? If that makes any sense? Um, but yeah. Raccoon, Butter, you can see Jace in the background, he was already announced earlier. These guys were announced in July, I'm sure. Um, looking really good. Unfortunately, Goldo doesn't seem to be articulated in any form. I think he actually comes with Berta. Um I suppose you do have the Demoniacal Fit version. This is obviously also in a response to Demoniacal Fit. They are rushing the Ginyu Force out like no tomorrow to just beat Demoniacal Fit before they go into production of these two. <laughs> um, I mean, fair enough. Competition's healthy. Um, I don't know why they're just releasing the equivalent of a Ban Presto figure with Berta, Goldo, but Demonical Fit does have an articulated Goldo. If you want to go that route, it won't look exactly the same as the rest of them, but close enough. And there's a full Guinea Force there. In honesty, I'm not that interested in the Guinea Force like, at all. <laughs> um, Captain Ginyu was good, but the rest of them were just clowns. I suppose that's the whole point, isn't it? But yeah, um, couldn't justify spending money on them, unfortunately. But yeah, next one, we have Namek Bulma. I know a lot of people have been desperate to get a version of Bulma on Namek. Um, People started assuming it was coming, because obviously the Ginyu Force and stuff come with Dragon Balls, a uh, Namek Dragon Balls, so does the Gohan in the background. Um, so yeah, they obviously had to get the Namek Dragon Balls complete. <laughs> and yeah, Bulma is just... She looks good. She looks really good. Um, they might have fixed it up a wee bit. <laughs> like the... This prototype's never been shown before, and it looks as if it's been through the wars, like, already. <laughs> uh, but yeah, moving on is, for some reason they put this guy in with the Namek Saga stuff, but yeah, it's Cell's Larva a shell, which is a quite obvious tease at the fact that first form Cell is coming. They just don't have the prototype ready yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, this will probably come with first form cell then. Which I can't honestly wait for. I've been waiting on a first form cell for just as long as I've been waiting on a first form freezer. Um, in my opinion, first form cell is one of his best looks. Like, perfect form cell is fair enough, he's great. The sort of monster look of First Form Cell was really what got me hooked on Cell as the best villain. But yeah, um, looking forward to that one. And there's a picture of them all together. Again, no idea why Saiyan Saga, Namek Saga can get that. But Cell's just off on his own in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a bit strange. Um, next off, we have Vegeta. We're going into the Cell Saga now. Um, they've basically got every saga um, on display here, apart from GT, 
Like, for some reason, Tamashi seems to think GT doesn't exist. I mean, in canon it doesn't, but it still existed. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got a base form Vegeta, again in direct response to Demoniacal Fit. Um, Demoniacal Fit literally just released a new headset for base form Vegeta and Blue Evolution Vegeta. Blue Evolution Vegeta is a bit iffy, like they just recolored the Broly movie Vegeta head sculpt. Um, but the Broly movie head sculpt worked for Vegeta. But yeah, this is clearly Cell Saga. Um, it's just the Super Vegeta body that they love to reuse at this point with the far too bulked up shoulders. But yeah, there's panel lines and stuff in this new Vegeta's head sculpt, and I really love the smirk. Like, I would buy this just for the fact that this is a new head sculpt for Vegeta. And in my opinion, it's the most accurate one yet. So yeah, was going to buy the Demon Ico Fat one? I'm not anymore. <laughs> uh, so yeah, next one we have, again, direct response to Demon Ico Fat. Cell Saga, Android Saga, Yamcha, with the spiky hair. Again, the I don't know what's what they're doing with the faces, but they're incredible looking. They're a lot more detailed than even figures that have just came out. Like, I don't know if that's just because they're prototypes. They used to do that with prototypes, but recently they haven't been. So I don't know. Nonetheless, I do like it. I passed on the Saiyan Saga Yamcha, so might end up getting this guy, who knows. Next one is Cell Saga TN. Again, direct response to Demoniacal Fit, I'm going to keep saying that, because Demoniacal Fit released this part for the Saiyan Saga one. So yeah, um, really liking the look of this, I'm glad. We do now have an articulated version of that. Not that Demoniacal Fits was bad. It was just fixing a problem that Tamashi had with it. Um, but yeah, you'll notice they put that one back to front. <laughs> um, his muscle should not be indented like that. But yeah, um, other than that, those two figures are the same as the Saiyan Saga ones, just with new parts. The next one is a bit of a shocker though. An articulated Chiaotzu. Now, he's not with Tien this time by the looks of it. He's his own mini figure. Which, I don't know what they're going to do with that. I know in the Star Wars line, they sold a Yoda on its own. And even sold like, the child on its own. Um, But... I didn't really think they were going to do it with such a small figure as Chiaotzu. I mean, Chiaotzu is smaller than even Kid Goku or Kid Gohan. <laughs> so yeah, um, don't know. And also begs the question why Chiaotzu is getting a fully articulated figure but Goldo isn't. But yeah, <laughs> let's move on to what I consider to be the main event here. A new Cell Saga. Super Saiyan Goku, with a brand new hair sculpt that's even more accurate than the Goku Black one. <laughs> Honestly, why could they not make this head sculpt for the Super Saiyan Blue Goku? This Goku head sculpt is more accurate for Super Saiyan Blue than it is for Super Saiyan, because of this, this extra bang here. You look back at it, 9 times out of 10, normal Super Saiyan doesn't have it. Super Saiyan Blue does. So this is probably going to get reused. <laughs> but yeah. Again, direct response to Demoniacal Fit's headset that just recently came out. Um, the, head, the face looks decent. It's kind of lacking detail. I think that's the problem with it. Um, but as of now, the Super Saiyan Blue head sculpts are still the most accurate form of Goku. That we've had. But that's not even it. Because this Goku, there's him with sort of angry face, which looks a bit weird and scrunched up. 
you see my problem there. But it looks as if he comes with a Super Saiyan 2 head. Completely out of left field. Like, <laughs> complete with the halo. I have no idea what they're doing. Um, this even looks a bit shiny, like Super Saiyan 3 does. No one expected this guy. Like, honestly, we've been asking, begging Tamashi for years to do it. Um, but yeah, you see where I'm coming from? The, the faces are the same design. So, even the, the hair, the more you look at it, it's the same back piece. They're just using a new front piece. So, yeah, I think this new Goku is going to come with two heads with interchangeable faces. I really do. Just to one-up Demon Eye fight even more. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's incredible to me. And it looks like proper Super Saiyan 2. Like all of these bangs at the front. Why did they not do that with Majin Vegeta? <laughs> They're putting so much effort into figures that we did not realise they were putting effort into. And yet, figures that we begged them to put effort into, they really didn't. <laughs> I don't get it. But yeah, there's the intro to Dragon Ball at the very end. Um, I love how they're showing off Krillin, who's not been available for years. But to be honest, I'd say the model kit is better for Krillin. At least this version of him. But yeah. Next one please, Tamashi. New Trunks. Please. 2.0. Wouldn't mind one. <laughs> um, but yeah. Next up, Hit. Completely out of left field. Um, people have kind of been asking for him. But, I mean, this means only one thing. Tamashi, you now have to do the Universe 6 tournament. Kaba, uh, you need to do Frost. You need to do 2.0s of the Goku and Vegeta, which makes me think that's where the new hair sculpts are really going to get used for. Because they just happen to have more detail. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll have Universe 6 versus 7. Um, geese. For the 2.0s shortly, I know we are. Um, but yeah, he's looking incredible. Uh, the bottom piece looks like rubber. The hands just fit inside uh, the slots. So yeah. And there's just a little Dragon Ball Super display there. Again, now that I've seen that new head sculpt, this looks out of place. <laughs> so does this. <laughs> Honestly. Tamashi, what you're doing is. Um, last but not least, just a quick look at the Dragon Ball line. So we've got Launch coming with two heads. To be honest, I've never really been into Dragon Ball all that much. I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. I have watched Dragon Ball. Um, it was good, I did like it. It's good to see the history of it. But I'm just not really interested in the figures, I'll be honest. So yeah, um, that's everything we've got to show. So yeah, <laughs> definitely this guy. I think I'm going to have to get two of them. Like if he does come with separate head sculpt for Super Saiyan 2, I do need to. Um, but yeah guys, that'll do it for this little update video. Um, let me know what you think and I'll see y'all later.